Wilson and I'm the author of I Quit Sugar For Life and today I'd like to share with you one of the most popular recipes from the book. It's my carrot cake porridge whip and it's really simple to make, it's densely nutritious and it's perfect for taking to work or to take to school and put in lunch boxes and so on. The way we make it is we start with a grated carrot. Now if you're making this using a food processor, you can actually use the grating option and grate it in there and then add the rest of the ingredients. But equally you can do it in a bowl and form the batter this way. We get some rolled oats, just standard breakfast oats, some chia seeds. Now chia seeds are fantastic. They're actually full of protein and they'll be absorbing the liquid and it actually becomes a really highly nutritious but also fantastic food for your digestive system. We put a pinch of salt. Salt's really good, believe it or not, for balancing out sugar. Some ginger, just a pinch of nutmeg, and cinnamon. Cinnamon's really, really good when you're trying to quit sugar because it balances out your blood sugar levels. Um, we're also going to add some liquid. Now, I like to use coconut milk, about a cup and a half, so that's almost an entire tin. Don't buy the low-fat version. Um, it's actually much, much better to buy the full fat version. When people take fat out of things, okay, they put sugar back in. You can also use full fat milk or you can use a nut milk of your choice. We're also going to add some rice malt syrup and this is the sweetener I like to use. It's pure glucose or it breaks down into pure glucose and contains none of the harmful fructose. A little bit of vanilla, you can use vanilla powder if you like or the extract, just don't use essence. And half an avocado. And this will actually provide extra dense nutrition, so you're getting extra vegetables into your breakfast, but it also adds some lush creaminess and some great fats. Fats are really necessary for ensuring that you're getting enough energy first thing in the morning. And finally, we add some walnuts. So we're going to mix this into a batter now and it'll become quite a wet batter and that's because the chia seeds will be soaking up the liquid overnight. The oats will be activated as well, so it'll actually activate the enzymes that help break down the food. So it becomes a probiotic which is fantastic for your stomach. So we spoon the mixture into two small jars and we place it in the fridge overnight. In the morning it's ready to place on the toppings. So I prepared a couple of these earlier. This one was made the night before, it's soaked overnight. All we have to do now is just put some yogurt on top, a couple of spoonfuls, and then some crushed walnuts. And I like to toast mine, it gets a nice kind of caramel flavour. And you can also put some flaked coconut or some granola. I've got a great recipe in my first book, I Quit Sugar. You place the lid on top and then it's ready to take to work or to school or to university. It won't spill and it's a densely nutritious, sugar-free breakfast.